Hello, my name is Alejandra Samper. For my back-end development portfolio project, I made a web app that lets users subscribe to their favorite RSS feeds. RSS feeds are simple XML files hosted by blogging, news, and podcast websites which automatically publish previews of their site's latest content. So I wanted to make my own app that pulls the first article from one or more RSS feeds, makes them human legible, and shows them all in one big list on your browser. The project is containerized into two Docker images. One Docker image runs a Postgres server which hosts the database and the other Docker image runs the Flask application. In the database, I have one table with three columns, the serialized primary key, a user column, and a URL column. Each row of data houses a username and one RSS feed address. I ran into issues trying to implement a full user account system wherein I have one table RSS feed addresses, one table with username and password pairs, and one bridge table to connect many feeds to many users and vice versa. For the sake of finishing the project on time, I simplified the database portion down to a single table which doesn't support logins, but I would like to return to that idea in the future. The Flask application has root functions listening to the following requests. Get slash renders a static test page which directs to the README file for instructions. Get slash username. When my Flask app gets a request to the root address with one URL parameter, it queries the database for all rows with matching value in the user column. I then parse the results into a Python list of URLs and render an entire HTML page through a string. Then the app appends a div element to the page for each entry in the list of URLs uses the feed parser library to pull that title, link to the full article and any images, and finally closes the HTML template once the end of the list is reached. The final result is a page in the user's browser which shows the first article from each RSS that they've subscribed to. Get slash feeds returns a list of every row in the feeds table. Post slash feeds accepts a JSON file formatted with two name value pairs, user and URL. If successful, it adds a new row to the feeds table and returns a 200 status. Delete slash feeds slash user deletes every row in the feeds table with a name column value matching the user URL parameter, effectively removing all the user's feed associations. Another big issue I ran into was parsing the RSS feeds, as every site structures them a little differently. In order to get a picture from an article, I had to use feed parser's built-in functions to pull the URL attribute from media content tags in the XML. And that's the gist of the app. While I was making this, I came to the understanding Flush is very capable as an API framework, but Django is better equipped for rendering dynamic HTML content. I would like to rebuild the app in Django and implement an account system so that users with the same name can't accidentally access each other's feeds.